So the summer is here, temperatures are rising, and for most when it comes to summer, you think about going to the beach, enjoying the ocean, soaking up some sun, and even playing some frisbee on the beach with your mates. But some people take playing frisbee just a little bit more serious than others, because ultimate frisbee is a sport fast growing all around the world with over 300 teams in some countries. And in South Africa, there's about 300 players, all of which will be heading down to Claremont for the Open and Women's Championships. And uh, this morning, we have Paul Vickers, the South African Flying District Association chairperson with us along with some of the players of SA Mambas and the Ghost Ultimate Club. Paul, thank you so much for joining us this morning. Thanks, man. Pleasure this to is, be here. This is very exciting because I don't think a lot of people realize that playing frisbee is an actual sport. No. Okay, so basically it grew it started in the US. How did it filter or made its way through to South Africa? Well, you know, uh, a couple of years ago, it's early 90s, um, we had a group of people who sort of picked up the sport. Mm. And with some input from, from visitors from North America, they sort of learned the rules and just the nuances, yeah. intricacies, how to throw. And from there, it's just grown steadily. Um, at the moment, we've probably got 19 to 20 uh, teams competing at nationals. Okay, so you, you spoke about the rules. What are the rules and job, uh, objectives? How does the, the, the game of Frisbee work? So it's that sport's a combination of a few other sports, it's very similar to uh, American football. There's a bit of uh, soccer, some basketball. Yeah. So there's a lot of a lot of quick movements. You can't run with the disc, mm. and you score goals like a touchdown yeah. in American football. Okay, so it's basically like that, but with a frisbee. With a frisbee right. in the end zone. And in yeah. terms of the leagues in South Africa, what's what's around? Well, there are leagues in Cape Town, uh, Johannesburg. Yeah. Uh, there's a couple of leagues in Mozambique. We consider them part of, of South Africa yeah. because they don't have uh, a federation up there. So we've got them spread out all across Cape Town in the major cities and mm. we all come together for nationals once a year. All right. So yeah. how can people form part of a league if they think they're really good and playing frisbee? I mean, how do you get into the sport? Well, at the moment, there's a lot of coaching going on at a few schools in Cape Town. Um, they can also find us on Facebook and uh, they can just Google yeah. um, South African Ultimate or Cape Town Ultimate and they should be able right. to find us really easily. Well, if you're interested, we'll put all those details on our website, expressoshow.com. Go check it out. Um, so. Uh, I asked you a little bit earlier in terms of the actual game. I mean, people, you know, get fancy with frisbees, different mm -hmm. kind of throws. But in the game of frisbee, how does it? How does it? Is it different kind of throws, like over the head or under the leg, or <laughs> how do you go about it? So it's not as it's not as fancy as as freestyle frisbee. But as you'll see, like similar to to rugby or, yeah. or basketball, you've got to be able to pass on both sides of you to get around your okay. defender. So you have a forehand. You'll see a couple of forehands. Okay, so um, forehand is, is, is kind of yes, that one. Yes, it's also known as a flick pass. Okay. So as a forehand, a backhand that everybody else knows. Yeah. You'll see it often at the beach. Yeah. And then you have a couple of overhead throws that people do similar to that. When All right. Just to kind of get over an opponent. To get over defenders. Um, yeah. Sometimes the defense forms uh, what's called a zone where they'll do zone marking, Jeez. very similar yeah. to in football. Yeah. And, and you've got to get over your defenders. Yeah. So that's a great, a great throw to get through that. All right, and I also mentioned the Open and Women's Championship taking place in Claremont this weekend. It's open yeah. to the public. People can go watch? People can come watch. We'd love okay. people to come watch. We're really trying to promote the sport. Um, so you can come down. It starts on Saturday morning about 9 o'clock, and it'll run through to Sunday evening. Yeah. Uh, it's open to the public. It'll be a women's and men's tournament, so please come support. That sounds great. So we'll put those details on the website as well, expressoshow.com. Head down there. I mean, frisbee playing is such an exciting game. I want to ask um, Finn here a quick question. Finn, how long have you been playing frisbee? Uh, for about seven years now. Yeah. And when did you realize that you were actually really good at it, and how did you go about entering a league? Uh, well, like you said, I started actually throwing with a friend on the beach, and that evolved me to being introduced to a team that practiced. And from there, um, I'm yeah. here now, having played for seven yeah. years. Yep. Man, and it's still as fun as the first day you started. Definitely. <laughs> <laughs> Lovely. <laughs> Guys, good luck, I think, with the championship this weekend. And uh, Paul, thank you so much for coming through, man. Really appreciate it. And I hope that you guys are inspired. If so, if you do feel that you are really good at playing Frisbee on the beach, why not consider joining a league and making a career out of it? Because, Paul, that's ultimate. You want to grow the sport. And we want to grow the sport, yeah. All right. Well, if you don't mind holding that for a second, I'm going to try it. Can I, can I give a go? Do you guys mind? Ready? Yeah, easy. So there we go. How's that? Nice. Yeah, you can see I played uh, some frisbee when I was a kid, you know? That was like a curve pass. So while we go into an ad break, I'll keep up my frisbee skills right here and show these guys a thing or two. <laughs> Expresso Youth Sport, brought to you by Deep Heat. Warms pain away.